This is a look at the horizon of the Earth from the space shuttle Atlantis as it orbits over the Pacific Ocean. This is a view from a camera on the port side of the payload bay looking at the shuttle's robotic arm in a parked position after being used to inspect the orbiter's heat shield today. It uh, picked up the orbiter boom sensor system on the starboard side of the payload bay to use it to inspect the reinforced carbon-carbon material that's part of the thermal protection system on the wing leading edges and nose cap. The arm itself was then used uh, after placing the boom extension back on the sill of the payload bay. The arm was used itself uh, to inspect the upper surfaces or cabin area of the orbiter. In view here is the orbiter docking system, the ring extended to make contact with the International Space Station tomorrow, that uh, done today by the crew, but to prepare for docking, which is scheduled at uh, 5.46 a.m. Central Time Monday morning. Now looking at the flight deck of the Space Shuttle Atlantis where Commander Brent Jett and Pilot Chris Ferguson will be monitoring the burn of the reaction control system jets that uh, will take about 31 seconds. And that burn uh, scheduled to occur in about 14 minutes from now will last 31 seconds and uh, changes the shuttle's velocity by almost uh, 7 feet per second, which is nearly 5 miles an hour. Atlantis' crew is now in its pre-sleep shift, uh, getting ready for bed, uh, wrapping up the day's activities, uh, as seen here, taking some photographs out the window. They're scheduled to go to sleep in about an hour and a half. For an eight-hour uh, sleep shift, which would have them wake up about 11.15 p.m. Central Time tonight to begin Flight Day 3 activities, which is highlighted by the rendezvous and docking to the International Space Station. Docking is scheduled for 5.46 a.m. Central Time Monday morning, and then the crew will get to work uh, on the shuttle and the station, both sides of the hatch, uh, to perform some robotic arm operations. Astronaut Stan Burbank and Chris Ferguson will be at this aft flight deck operating the shuttle robotic arm to grab a hold of the payload inside Atlantis's cargo bay. That's the P3, P4 truss structure, the 35,000 pound uh, girder that will be installed on the International Space Station. Burbank will be operating the arm uh, with Ferguson by his side to lift that uh, truss out of the payload bay very carefully and move it up to a position where astronaut uh, Steve McLean from the shuttle crew and astronaut Jeff Williams from the station crew over on the station side operating the station robotic arm can uh, grab a hold of that truss. Once they have a firm grip with the space station robotic arm, Burbank and Ferguson will let go of the truss with the shuttle arm and that uh, truss will stay in place there overnight uh, before being installed on the port side of the truss structure of the International Space Station. That activity will be done the next day on flight day four with also a spacewalk planned to hook up the electrical connections of that truss to the P1 truss already in place on the station.